subsidise frontline policing services either. I've got no objection to using um, uh, private companies to uh, provide back office services and other services, but what's being set up under the current arrangements, the proposed arrangements, is too broad. There's no red line drawn saying so this is what the line is. Um, <coughs> there's no detailed specification of what's required. I've commissioned a lot of services in my time. And what you do is you set out what you want, you make it very clear, and then you invite bids based on that. That hasn't happened here. It's been too broad. It's sent out the wrong signal entirely. I will commission services from the private sector, but I will not outsource frontline policing services. I will be very clear about what I want. I will make sure that there's no cosy relationship either. I'll make sure I've got the expertise, the procurement and contract management expertise, that if private firms aren't performing in the right way, then they lose their contract and it gets changed. Because there's no point, there's absolutely no point bringing in the private sector if you just get the same provider, no matter how well they perform. That's one of the important lessons about sourcing and privatising. But policing itself will not...